everyone. Welcome back to Fitness, Nutrition in Soul channel. Today we're going to talk about exercise. Uh, what are the benefits of exercise? How much you should do to reap the benefits out of exercise? And what are the other um, uh, view to see the exercise rather than just the weight loss? Alrighty. So to start with, we will talk about what is exercise. So exercise is any kind of physical movement which involves aerobic, anaerobic or flexibility. So in your anaerobic, you got weightlifting or any kind of resistance training. In aerobic, you got any cardiovascular exercise such as uh, walking, running, uh, jogging, swimming. Um, and with the flexibility, it could be yoga, tai chi, uh, pilates or uh, any kind which involves with the bending and stretching. Alrighty, so what are the benefits of the exercise? The numerous benefits of exercise. It's just not limited to the weight loss. The way we look outside makes us attracted to the people. What, what we are from inside is more important. A person might look uh, normal from outside compared to the person who looks very muscular, but it could be the chances that the person who looks normal might be really healthy from inside in terms of how his liver works how his kidneys working the heart working um, all, all the blood levels and stuff like that but on the other hand the person might look really attractive from outside have good muscular uh, body and whatever but maybe he might not be healthy from in inside in terms of the physiology in terms of how the body is working from inside so let's talk about that what are the benefits of exercise the very first one is the better body composition. So the better body composition means that you got more lean muscle mass and the lesser body fat. So anytime when you involve in any kind of physical activity, especially the resistance training, which means lifting weight, it increases your muscle mass and it drops your body fat, provided that you're eating the right kind of the nutrient. It improves the bone density. So it, uh, anytime when you're lifting weight, you're improving your bone density, which in the longer term prevents the osteoporosis. It lowers the risk factor of the lifestyle diseases. Now let's talk about the lifestyle diseases. In the lifestyle diseases, you got hypertension, you got blood sugar, you got cholesterol, you got obesity, you got inflammation, you got your um, some certain type of cancer, heart problem, stroke, and so on. So, but doing the, um, any kind of physical activity, we actually lowering the risk factor of it. It has been scientifically been proven now that 30 minutes of walk, especially the wrist walking, it reduced the risk factor for the diabetes. It reduced the risk factor of the neurological diseases. And some of them actually does it into the remarkable percentage by like 50%, 60%. And, um, and we know how, much, how many people out there, especially, uh, um, actually recently I was reading an article, it's nearly more than 460 million people got the diabetes, which can be preventable in the first place with the diet and the nutrition. It, the, the, the diabetes is not a, it's not a disease, it's a lifestyle disease, which is happening because you're not exercising and not, not eating right. And it's a, diabetes is a preventable lifestyle disease. It improves the sleep quality so that means you will fall asleep quicker and will sleep longer and sleep deeper and sleep on its own gives the many benefits including repairing the body uh, improving the neurological um, connections uh, boosting the hormones uh, repairing body um, and next day and also balancing the hormones in the sense that uh, uh, your insulin and the cortisol level so in next day, um, if, if you really sleep good, next day you would not be as tired and you wouldn't go for the kappa. Uh, it improves or it makes the muscles strong in the cardiovascular system. So if you're lifting a weight, it's gonna, you, you are, um, um, every time when you go to the gym, you're tearing the muscle. It's called the macro tear. So, so that might, the body repairs it to make and, and, uh, so that when you go next time to the gym, the muscles are more stronger. Um, it's the adaption. It's the adaption of the physical resistance training, and it also improves the cardiovascular system, which includes your heart. It improves the longevity. It 
lowers the some uh, types of cancer it improves the better gut health and prevents the constipation mm -hmm. now every time everything we eat it get absorbed in your small in, in, in your small intestine and then into the large intestine and that happens at a certain rate so when we are active that act, uh, when we do any kind of physical uh, activity it actually helps the gut to make it to work it in a uh, in a in a smoother and easy way and that's the reason it can prevent the constipation um, it improves your mood it helps to lose the weight or maintain it lowers the heart rate it lowers the rest uh, the uh, resting heart rate so for example um, the, uh, the athletes who are really really fit their resting heart rate might be between 50 to 60 so that means the heart has to work less to provide the uh, oxygen to the muscle compared to the person who is really unfit and uh, that person uh, heart has to work harder to provide the oxygen to the muscles or to the body it reduces the depression um, recently um, I actually been reading a lot about depression and uh, and I was uh, listening the interview of this doctor and who's been treating the de depression from last 30 years and he said that if there's any medication out there to prevent or to treat the depression it's the actually exercise so for depression exercise is one of the best thing unless that depression is happening because there is something not happening right physio physiological uh, like your kidney is not working or your liver is not working properly or your gut health is not in the right place uh, the gut health which I mentioned before guys gut health is really really important um, they're finding a big link between the gut health and the mental well-being your gut communicates with the brain through the vagus nerve and um, so whatever you eat it really impacts on your mood anxiety um, your stress level and so on so gut health is really really important now um, they're doing a lot of researches recently just in Australia the, the Australian government pumped right like eight million dollars to know to learn more about the gut health and I think in Ayurvedic I have heard a long time before too that every disease starts from your gut because to take an example your immune system is 80 percent is made up in your gut serotonin hormone which is a happy hormone 95 percent is is made in your in your um, gut your gut got 100 trillion microbes and uh, it, it's like a world on its own and according to the book which I was reading last month gut and the mind connection that the the, the gut is the second brain so don't want to too much into the gut connection but all I want to say is that the gut can actually um, cause a depression as well if you're not eating right and uh, in, if your uh, bacteria uh, is out of the whack in terms of the bad and the good bacteria um, it's reduced the neurological diseases there have been numerous researches and studies which has proved that the um, exercise decreased the neurological disease which includes the Alzheimer which includes the Parkinson which includes the the declining of the cognitive uh, the cognitive function of the brain so exercise is, is, is really really good for the brain um, it improves your immune system it maintain or increase the muscle mass um, so if you're going to the uh, going to the gym and especially for the beginners who hasn't been to the gym uh, very first time when they will uh, start lifting the weight they will increase the muscle mass so in terms of the maintaining uh, after the age of the 40 muscle atrophy which is the loss of the muscle function um, your certain testosterone hormones start dropping down and then which cause the muscle loss and uh, but by doing the resistance training you can actually increase the uh, testosterone hormone to certain level um, and, and, and it can help to prevent the muscle mass loss yeah uh, I can really go on and on about the benefits of exercise all I can say is 
that if you if I have to uh, uh, make it in a conclusion that the exercise can help you in many different things in preventing most of the lifestyle diseases which is happening in the in, in the large percentage out there in the world uh, which includes the uh, uh, blood pressure cholesterol your blood sugar level or, um, hypertension stroke heart attack uh, and so on and also uh, you can prevent uh, some of the uh, uh, kidney and the liver problems and one of them is actually um, the exercise also um, helps to prevent the um, uh, gallbladder stones um, alrighty enough about the benefits of the exercise now let's see how much we need to reap the benefits out of exercise so first of all if you think that you have to go to the uh, uh, gym five to six days a week and you have to lift the weight in a certain way or whatever that's fine but that's just to uh, um, uh, to get s better body composition according to your um, desire um, but to get the benefits out of the exercise you can do any kind of exercise so whatever the exercise you like are they could be the sports it could be walking it could be running jogging swimming lifting weights um, what, any kind of physical activity as long as you're doing three to five times a week doing two and a half hours to five hours a week that should give you all the benefits which I mentioned just now uh, so I don't focus the exercise on weight loss uh, because I think that's where people get confused they only think the exercise as a tool to the weight loss but exercise is just not about a, it's not just a tool to weight loss it gives all the benefits which I have mentioned before it will improve your longevity it's gonna it, it, you will not only have the short-term benefits it's gonna give you the long-term benefits so when the old people take an exam just take an example that where old people they have the uh, 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 less um, bone density and they, then they start losing the muscle mass their cognitive um, start uh, uh, declining and um, yeah and by doing exercise they can prevent all that combining with the right nutrient or the right diet they can prevent most of the or slow down the 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 risk factor of, of all the diseases and um, yeah that's it guys if you have any question regarding the exercise uh, put it on a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it now and also press the bell button and thanks and I will see you next time thanks